he's drinking again. All right, all right, all right. Back up in the motherfucking building on a Thursday. <laughs> Harry's drinking again. Tonight, episode zero one zero. That's number ten. For your slow mother. I'm gonna break it down illa. Supreme was the businessman and Prince was the killer. Remember, he used to push the bulletproof beam, huh? Hey, get you seasick. I sat back and peep shit. In Las Vegas, Nevada, if you're in Las Vegas, go to the Mirage and place your bet with Jake Palafox. Nobody else. Jake Palafox from the Mirage Sportsbook, Las Vegas. Phil Countryman, shout out uh, Phil, cousin Philip. That was some like mind control shit. That was some scary. Witchcraft, uh, mind control shit. Oh, we see the shirts yet? I said on last week I was gonna manifest it, and I like to say stuff and do it. So you know, got a couple of shirts. Get a shot glasses. First shot of the night. First shot of the night. Uh, Dub and rum. I wish I could really say that it's New Amsterdam gym, but. We met from Las Vegas, everybody. Okay, yeah, so we're coming to you live from Las Vegas, Nevada. Uh, so we got the Final Four. We got uh, Duke in North Carolina. That's a rivalry match. It's a big match. Get your head out of the whore's ass and tell us the picks. My personal opinion, I believe Kansas is the best team. Uh, I think it's going to be a grind. I would also take the under on the game because uh, it's going to be a battle, a defensive battle, I believe. Um, but on the other game, I'm going to go with the money line on North Carolina. So so you're saying, though, UNC will whoop Duke's ass? I am saying that, that that's what I believe, absolutely. Oh, there's nothing more. There's nothing more I want to see than Coach K, bro. So what's the money line looking like? So if I'm a betting man and, and I have a hundred bucks, you know, I can go drink at the bar. I can go make a bet and try to double it and go have double drink Sunday. Uh, I, I'm putting a hundred on Carolina. Yeah. So right now, William Hill has, uh, has the money line on North Carolina at plus 170. So that means a hundred dollar bet would win you 170. You get back 270. So far, if you're on the strip, if you're fucking around on the strip, Go to the Mirage. If you, I, I get it. If you're out there in the local spots, like a real battle-born representative does it, you're hitting the stations, the Green Valley ranches, the Red Rocks, etc. Acceptable. But if you're on the strip, like he said, go to the Mirage. Go to the sports book. Ask for Jake. Look for Jake. He, he, he's, Look for Jake. He's hard. To, he's, he's, he's not hard to miss. A little short. Little yeah. short guy with a fucking temper. He's a round <laughs> individual. Uh, <laughs> you know, he's uh, I'm vouching for this. You go to the Mirage this weekend. It's spring break. Oh, it's spring break. I, I might make a surprise trip to Vegas myself. Oh, um, but you go to the Mirage. I'm telling you, drink on me. Sounds like Dr. Bluffham. I love how you uh, just uh, get on this podcast and just start drinking. It's great. You're shot. <laughs> you're shot in. You're, you're fucking pissing. You're. You're, you're, you're great. Give us, a, give, give us a Harris is drinking again. A shout out. Uh, I mean, come on. Harry's drinking again. <laughs> That's a mug. I see you, red. I see so, you, Big T. That is so catchy. Duh. The, the fucked up part is this is supposed to be Mr. Guy. Mr. Guy, where, where's he at? You can- Jake from the Las Vegas Mirage Sports Book. He's the sports guy. He's the Harris is drinking again sports guy. He's my. Oh, we got a story. The first story on the Harris is drinking again podcast. So, um, he killed someone, or he knows someone that was killed by drunk driving. Bringing on Big Tone, a man who got an introduction last week, but he's back again. Big T, Big Tizzle, Big Tone, Big Tone Dog, Tony Cigar. What the? God dang, with even bigger than motherfucker in the back. The Will Smith, you know, I'm calling it a simp slap. Because that was a simp slap. That was a simp slap. I'm going to explain. He going to say Chris Rock out of pocket. No, listen to this. Truth is, Will Smith, on the real shit, Will Smith was out of pocket for the simple fact is, this is Chris Rock, right? He been roasting niggas in the front forever. Right. Ding. This is not something new. He done roasted JW before. Now, if he would have said something disrespectful, yeah, all right. I could agree with that. It was a simple GI Jane joke. It was nothing disrespectful. Well, they segregate one person. Remember, they did Bob Saget. They did the one, the whole bitch. They did uh, 
uh, what's his name, bro? They did hella people roast, bro. And those were killer drunk, bro. Those were some shit where they were disrespectful. Disrespectful. Some shit they, they put out there. You know, you they, know? they invited me over here to your podcast, you know, uh, just to tell a little bit about my story about, you know, uh, being incarcerated up here in uh, SoCal. Drinking, man. Drinking. Early age on, right? Who doesn't? Who doesn't go do that? You know, started at a liquor store, right. man. Started at a liquor store. Where, you know, that's what happens when you start working at a liquor store when you're 17, you know? You know, being being as old as I am, having to go through incarceration. But uh, that pandemic really hit hard. You know, uh, you know, my, my, my son, my son, I missed my son's birthday. And, you know, so I, I you know, wanted to do a little catch up with him. Uh, you know, the, basically, you know, all of that, you say, hey, I'm coming through. I'm going to pick you up. Uh, you know, he's 20, you know, he's, he had just turned 24 the month before. So basically, you know, I miss, I, I missed his birthday. So I really wanted to see him. And we went out, you know, we went out just, uh, just, just to have a little, you know, actually we went out to, you know, we were going to, to, uh, go watch a, uh, UFC fight over at my, at my boy's house. I was like, all right, now what do I do with my son? I'm, I'm already down in San Diego. I'm already an hour and a half past my house. So uh, I decided, uh, you know, the the big screen had just uh, opened up over at the casino. Uh, you know, the bar session had had a big screen, had the UFC fight. So I said, all right, let's just shoot over there. Right? You don't plan on drinking a lot, right? I've been drinking and driving. No, I'm gonna admit it. Yeah, I've been drinking and driving. Made it home all, you know, all these years. You know, never thought that, you know. And, and that's when you, that's when you know. Uh, car on my ass, and uh, I basically uh, sped up. You know, these guys were on my on my ass. You know, I'm, I'm trying to uh, swerve. You know, on these curves, and uh, basically I lost. You know, sped up too fast, lost control. They were trying to give me ten years. Um, my son did pass in the car. You know. Uh, he didn't have a seatbelt on. I'm, I'm, I'm going to be living this for the rest of my life, you know. So I, ever since that day, you know, I promised my son, I said, you know, you're never going to drink again. That's May 30th, 2020. You know, it's, it's, it's coming up on two years now. So, uh, you know, it was an eye opener, you know. You know, you, you got your sets, you know, you got your group of guys that, you know, uh, you know, you, you got different, di- different, different, different groups that, you know, you have to go uh, join. It was, hard, it was hard for me to talk, man. It was hard for me to get this out. I bet. Uh, you know, I was, uh, I was uh, basically uh, in training, in training to go to jail, being up, uh, being in my room. Uh, you know, uh, almost like uh, you know the movie Get Hard. So, so I wouldn't leave my room. Wow. Fuck your ass. And and honestly, fuck this guy who lives next door to me, bro. I gotta talk about this jokester for a fucking minute, bro. <laughs> I got this fucking clown, and maybe we'll see this one day if he does. He lives right in the unit next to me. This motherfucker, bro, comes out of his building. Like I live in the building, so it's hallways and shit. Boom! This son of a bitch comes out his door to walk through the hall with his mask on. So means he he has a little fucking dog, a little stupid. I I'm sorry, but I I don't I can't say I can't say. I hate dogs because then Peter will be on my ass. I don't give a fuck about animals. Let me just say that. I'm not going to hurt animals or do no crazy shit, but I don't give a fuck about an animal, dude. I'm not a dog lover. I don't give a fuck about a dog. I'll never own a dog. It's stupid to me. I mean, I get it, but that's... Especially little dogs. If you're going to have a dog, at least have a fucking 40... 40 40-pound dog, 30-pound dog or something. I hate little dogs. But this guy comes out of his apartment with his, with his dog and his mask already on because one day... Because I always see him downstairs outside with his mask, walking his dog. It's over. It's been over for a year. And, and so I hear his dog when he opens his door. So I run to my little peephole. And I was like, I know this motherfucker doesn't have his mask on as he's walking. And sure enough, he, I see him walking, masked up. One day I'm coming out the door. He's like, it just happened that way. Boom. He sees me. Getting ready to go down the stairwell. This son of a bitch turns and goes all the way to the other end of the hall down the stairwell. When I pull out, he's walking his dog on the other side. Hmm. With his fucking mask. That's the type of shit that because not knowing what you know what what to do, right? So right, you just in there. Right? So, yeah. So 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 basically when I went in there, I was I was planning on going up. I was planning on going other. Because, you know, I'm a little of everything. Mm-hmm. 
After being in there for like a day and a half, this big old six foot seven dude just came up on me and said, who are you running with? I said, well, I can run, you know, I'm running with whoever. I said, are there any others here? Are there any other others? Are there any other others? Are there any other others? He said, oh, we don't have any. LeBron James from the prison said, oh, yeah. Okay. Toon Squad. Yeah, I ain't got no backup now. <laughs> I ain't got no backup. I ain't got no backup. There ain't no others in there. So he said, "What's your last name?" Other. I said, "My last name's Hart." What is it? Other. So what is that? Uh, I said, "Well, uh, yeah, that, that's a uh, Chiquis and Kermit, and you know." And, and he goes, "Okay, so you're running with us." There you go. So I ended up running with. The so aren't you like? You know, uh, uh, okay, so one of the Pisces, because the Pisces and the uh, and the brothers. They dorm, their dorm is on one side. The woods and the uh, and the, uh, the woods and the uh, homies are on the other side. And one day, one of the Pisces told the only brother, by by the way, the only brother that was in the in the whole whole mod with us, told him, "Why don't you move your bunk to somewhere else?" Well, guess what happened? That, that check. Pisa got checked. It, wow. Yeah, they shower checked his butt because uh, you don't disrespect. The only brother, the only brother up in there, and try to tell him he's got to move. You know, where's he gonna move to? Where's he gonna move to? Yeah. And the brother wow, was this loss, the <laughs> effeminate and the soft type of men with them glass, not no brass balls. Bitch, I'm about to blast off. Feel me, will the dreams of my psyche doing bad habits with my homeboy Mikey Knightley? Doing does a dirt and the might be frightening to those who oppose living life, chase a pipe dreams. Down for whatever the night brings. Hey, 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 you know I'll be stuck with the bullet progress you know I'm just aiming you know I'm just showing you know I'm just shooting at that nigga head wake in the morning I'm tweaking up meds yeah you know me I just need me a 10 take me like two and I'm starting to tweaking you know that I'm sorry I did it again Okay, skirt off in, in that, that drop top reins and these stops up in my brain. Yeah, my legs hurt. Oh. Yeah, these niggas got me fed up. Be <laughs> ain't with us, but yeah, I turn you to a dead one. That ain't my shoes and his chain and his wallet. Yeah. Got the money in my pocket, yeah. I would never ever stop it, yeah. Never stop smoking, I don't give a fuck. Roll up the green and I roll me a blunt. Pull to a block with a 30 stick. Pull to a block with a 30 stick. Pull to a block with a 30 clip. 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 Pull to a block with a Never be kissing it. I got my car. Thought I'll be ripping it. That's pretty sick, dude. Oh, or, that dude is gonna. Yeah, sick, dude. Or yeah, or they hope for that, and if they don't turn out that way, they like dispose of them, and they're, they're so fucked up in the mind that they, oh. you know, it, it appear to be crazy to the masses. But meanwhile, we're sitting there like, yo, this person's calling for help. The Corey Feldman. But this, I'm sorry, I took it again because I got a story about some Adderall, bro. Yeah. I was I was in Adderall tough. Is what it is, but we had an excellent show, bro. Excellent show, man. Excellent show. Another, another epic show every Thursday night. Thursday night, let's get it right. It's been wonderful, man. It's been tight. Four weeks in a row, picking up the traction. Four weeks in a row, sitting, staying back. And back when he was locked up in the Cali, San Diego, chilling with the, down the back alley. Swerving, sliding. Thank you for the people really coming in. This is freestyle in the comment section. Cause I look at the screen and talk about things that I see with my own eyes, like my teeth, like Michael Jordan in the back, shooting the last shot. I'm up on live YouTube on the YouTube block. And it's not that hot. But I still come through and make it sick. Like some dirty ass, crusty ass socks. <laughs> yeah, I don't like this beat. I remember, I like I remember the nights we, I would like. Cause I was, we were, we were new in Hawaii, and I just wanted to get out the house. I don't want to be around the mother-in-law. And I would, I would have my car parked out in the street, 
away from the from the condo, and then I'd holler at you. And I think that was we already going to. Uh, were you doing the fishing thing already? Uh, no, I fished like ten. 2010? Left the kid with the babysitter in the empty fridge, but the babysitter started touching the kid, too. Oh. Mom's dead. The mom's dead. Now the babysitter touched him. Now he's in the system. Now he's getting fucking played and touched by the state and all this other bullshit. And what, what kind of cycles you fucking raise up? Oh. You, you're out here on Skid Row, not fucked up, and people go crazy, man. And motherfuckers drink. Okay? Hey, 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 you know what, too? Uh, hey. True, th- true theory, um, or, uh, you know. Yeah. Oh. Trutherium, or you know, uh, you know, t- t- you know, t- t- something. Trutherium, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, Trutherium. Trutherium. And, and you know what? It's yeah. that's why you don't want to miss. Yep. Harris is drinking again because we always, man, the mind is always oh. going. The mind is always created.